Okay, we are on to step number four, which is customize the following files. And if you look at this, we have a file tree here. And this file tree is just a visual represent re representation to kind of serve as a map to help you through this file tree here. So you'll notice that not every, uh, not every folder is on here. So there's no content correspondence because some of these folders aren't going to be on there when you, when you get this. And some of them um, are things that you don't need to touch. These are just the folders that you need to, to pay attention to, things that you need to customize, okay? And uh, I'm gonna go a little bit out of order. I'm gonna start with the includes folder. And inside the includes folder, there's two files that you're gonna wanna customize. And those are the uh, services schedule and the address. So let me open address just so you can see what this is like. It's just a simple unordered list that has um, the phone number, the uh, address, uh, with the next line being the uh, city and state. And you would obviously just change this part that's in white here and leave the tags. These are called HTML tags. Leave those alone, just change the stuff in the middle. And then underneath here we have a place where, where these hashes are, these number signs, you can add uh, somebody's URL. So, you know, you would put in there HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, you know, facebook.com forward slash, you know, Pastor Hayden. I think that's mine. Um, but Or whatever the one for the church is. And if they don't have a Facebook, here's what you can do. You can just click the A tag here and just delete that whole A tag. So make sure you start with this one and end with this one and whatever, okay? You know, they don't have to have one of these if they don't want to, but you would just put the URL for that in those different places. Um, I think what I'm going to eventually do is I'm eventually gonna move these to the config YAML file. So the one that I showed you in the last video, and that way you're not having to mess with this code and, and um, you know, this particular thing here can be, it's not hard, but um, so that's that. So I'm gonna not save this one. The second one is the service schedule. It's the same idea. It's just an unordered list. The comments give you what you need to know here. Uh, you just change the white part between the LI tags. If you need to add another one, you can just copy the whole line and paste it like this. And alternatively, if you need to delete some, it's the same thing. So you just save it when you're done um, and that's all that you need to do for that one. Just make sure the service schedule is right. And then I would also look at the footer. Um, and uh, I'm eventually going to have this changed so that this pulls from that that include that you just looked at with the address and the and the service schedule and whatever. But you might want to just take a look at the footer, make sure that this is what it's supposed to be. Okay. So there's those files. Let's look at our thing again here. So we have, we've covered the includes. The next thing it says is CSS. Um, so if you go to CSS, the main file that you're gonna deal with in the CSS folder is the settings, underscore settings.css. And you can scroll past this stuff on the top. Essentially, yours is gonna look a little bit different than this, but essentially, uh, there'll be more comments, essentially, all that you're gonna be doing is changing two things. You're gonna be changing the fonts and you're gonna be changing the colors. Um, again, I wish I had, let me just pull up my version of this because that one's a little bit less scary. Uh, I've already made the changes and I don't know why they're not on there, but let's go to SAS settings. Um, uh, maybe I didn't. Anyways, um, so I guess I lost those. So most of your colors are going to be controlled by these primary, secondary, success, warning, and alert. And the colors correspond to a number symbol. If you double click on these, um, this is a color. It's just six numbers. Let me show you a great place to find colors real quick. If you go to a website called LL Colors, um, this is a a web designer and he's just got a good eye for color. And so you can look through these different color palettes. So let's say that the pastor says, or the whoever's handling the website says they want something that looks you know, brown. You could pick these colors and notice when you hover over them, you get this number here. You could just copy and paste that 
uh, over this and change out the colors. That's all there is to do for that. For the fonts, um, most of our fonts are going to come from um, Google Font. Um, and the way that we get those is we go to Google Fonts. And okay, I'm going to go to the new version. Okay, so this is Google Fonts. It's got all these different fonts that you can choose from. Um, I would stick with, you know, I would only go here if you have to to fit kind of the look and feel of the of their site. Um, but you can change out the fonts here. So if you want a serif font, which is kind of a more traditional font, you can just click that. And then to use the font, what you need to do is you need to click on the plus button. And then down here it says one family selected. You click on that. And you want the at import embed. So you just want to highlight this that starts at at import and ends in a semicolon. And then you can go back into your theme and paste it there. And then back in Google Fonts, you'll, it'll say here, font family colon Laura Serif. If you just copy that Laura Serif, and this will be close to the top right underneath these. But on here, I've got to go down a little bit. See how it says font family monospace. There's one that says um, heading font family right here, body font family. Um, all we have to do is paste over this with that thing that we just downloaded. And then when we save this file, it will change the entire look and feel of that site. So that's how you, you uh, customize the, um, the settings.css, all right? Back to here, assets. We've already talked about this. You can upload your own pictures to these files if you want to, not something you have to. Um, default header. The logo file, obviously you're gonna wanna get the, the pastor's logo and you're going to wanna upload that. Um, be careful of the size of the logo. So uh, make sure that it fits. If you need help with me, the, you know, the first couple times, if you need help with that, then holler, okay? One more file, and this is the main thing that you're gonna be doing on this, uh, and that is, the welcome.html, rather, welcome.html. This is um, the one place where I'm going to ask you to do a little bit of HTML work, and that is the welcome page. Now, in the um, in the Airtable, there is a welcome page section where they'll give you content, but I want each of these pages to be slightly custom, and so... Um, I will probably make a whole other video just on the welcome page and some of the stuff that we do on the, on the welcome pages so you have a better idea. Um, but um, for now, what it's going to involve is it's going to involve getting that content and then copying and pasting that content in and making sure that there's P tags around it and headings and, and whatever. Okay, so that is uh, that's um, this is here is where the one place we're going to ask you to use a little bit of creativity uh, you can spend a lot of time on this. You can spend a little bit of time on this, but this is um, this is customizing the site. Okay, this is how we take a template, uh, you know, that looks like this with these colors here, and it, that's a, that's not the right logo there. Um, but we take a template that looks like this, and then this is the same. This is the same template. So these here are both the same template. The only thing that I changed was I changed the photos. I changed the data that's being pulled in, and I changed the logo file and the colors, and that's it. Um, and so that's how we do that. We just pull, we're pulling in, um, pulling in different data, and we're using uh, the the CSS to customize this slightly.